Uh, okay, I'm recording now. Will. Sorry, guys, I forgot. For the introduction, the problem will be like limited internet access, won't it? For what uh, section? Oh, yeah. They can't spell identify in the um, thing, but that's it. <laughs> I've seen an ABC article today that couldn't spell either, so it happens. Um, so I was on the side of the the road the other day, and I was struck with inspiration, which doesn't happen very often. Um, yeah, but these are the best ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, I won't worry about sharing my screen. I just save the JPEG and then copy it across to you. Uh, I just chucked it off. Chuck it. I chuck it in off topic because it's just sort of something that you guys might think about and expand upon. Um, but in off topic, I've just chucked a. What the fuck is a JFIF? Never heard of that <laughs> file before. What sort of image? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's fucking. It's it's proper. I see what you mean. So like a trailer. With a yeah, so it was sort of expanded upon Jason mentioned a trailer the other day and I'm standing there looking at the um, uh, portable street light systems that they have on construction sites. Yeah. That run all night, run all night with high fucking high volume halogen lamps uh, burning away and they have this retractable tower and there's really no reason why you couldn't strap a couple of satellite dishes on the back and a couple of relays um and set it up as an automated system so the satellites the satellite dishes auto locate the signal so no one has to you know align the satellites or anything they've been using those systems on boats for god 40 years um so you can you can get satellite signals um uh satellite tv and, and satellite internet when you're um sailing the waves uh so they've got auto tracking systems uh and if you did omnidirectional three phase antennas at the top of that you basically have an automatic system you can make it in brisbane um drive it up to wherever it needs to go park it, throw the legs down, hit a button, broadcast internet for up to 20 kilometers. Mm. 20, Something to think about. Is pretty big too. No, it's not. I've, I've, I've done 20 kilometers. I've done it several times. But for that region, I think 20 k's is really good. Oh, I see, I see what you mean, like yeah. Covered, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the fact that you can interlink them, you know, there's no reason why you can't have a flat panel antenna or flat panel um, dish based antenna at the top of it that can locate other towers and connect with them and create a giant broadband oh, network. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, something just, yeah. I was just, I haven't thought much about it beyond searching for an image so I could sort of share it with you guys. But it would be easy to calculate the power requirements for it. It would be really easy to, you know, identify the equipment that you would need in it. You would set the equipment up in the box basically yeah it's portable internet and you know for one of the other design considerations if you want to talk about say for instance security you know people stealing the trailer or or stealing the um equipment that's in it or, or whatever um you could do the same thing on a mini shipping container yeah. uh, i think they call it a two by two meter cube shipping container you can buy them for about 500 bucks less than 500 bucks delivered and you could park one of them in there and have the same retractable system on the roof and then no one could really take it no no it'd be it'd be a pain in the ass it'd but be, i guess that the, the the benefit is that the trailer can roam wherever it's needed so i think jason mentioned the other day that in his research they sort of come in or someone mentioned that they come into town 
during the I think it was the wet season, and then when everything dries up, they sort of head back out to their homesteads. Yeah, that's it. There's no reason why they can't take the trailer with them to their homesteads and then bring it back into town. And when they park it in town, everybody shares you know multiple internet connections. Mm. Yeah, just something to think about. That was that was uh, that was sort of. I yeah, was, well, I, mean, I was struck with inspiration as I was sitting there waiting in traffic. We've got four. five uh, five ideas so far, and we wanted six, so we can throw that down as there idea go. six. Yeah. Uh, For the solution, do we do we have to work out sort of the, the details of of how all the authentication would work? Yeah, like obviously, but... if you have one person, like one. Uh, sort of data plan that is uh, shared amongst the community and like would we do it how, how much detail do we have to put into this well how whatever yeah i mean whatever whatever details you need like i've got years of background in in setting up the authentication on wireless networks and whatnot so i can provide yeah. whatever details you need and then you can cross-reference that against um uh, cool. research Maybe a yeah. good way to go about that part would be once we've done that design considerations table, we all know what areas we need to go and research a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, like, for example, where we've got the build new towers, which was if we were to just go up there and build, you know, Telstra towers all over the fucking joint, we know yeah. straight away that that's going to be ridiculously expensive. So yeah. that's why in the design considerations table, I just put down red expensive because it's not even worth investigating. We know it's going to cost a fuck ton of money. Yeah. yeah. But we know it would also have really good range. So we can knock off a whole bunch of things just with a bit of common sense. And then we can work out what we actually need to go and investigate a bit more. I mean, the tower cost, oh, what I Googled, was about 150000 Mm. To yeah, build no. a Telstra tower, yeah, yeah, uh, on average. And then yeah. you've got a lease. You've got lease costs on that as well, because someone always owns the land. So even if the government owns the land, they they charge a leasing. It's about six to fifteen thousand dollars a year in leasing costs on top of the tower build. Oh, so yeah, so, and then you've got to get Bullshit. power to it as well, because they don't run yeah. on. They don't run on solar systems for whatever reason. I think the equipment on the towers just is too power heavy. So you'd yeah. need too much of a, a power grid. So most of the time they're either connected to the um, town power supply or for most remote towers, believe it or not, they're running on a generator and someone goes yeah. out and fills them up. Like I think at one stage there, over half of the NBN towers were running on nine KVA generators. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Crazy. I've um, Craig, you weren't there today, but I've emailed uh, Dave, who sells those G spotter antennas. By the way. Oh yeah, cool. About some specifications on those. And yeah, sweet. So the website says he should get back to us pretty quick. Yeah, That'd nice. Good to know. Especially if he thinks he's going to get a bit of publicity, or you know, engineering <laughs> yeah, I, firms looking at this, and he'll be he'll be balls deep in the shit. Hopefully, research and, and all of this. So, yeah. Nah, cool. So, did oh, with these so, with these design considerations? Are we are we filling that yeah. out tonight? So, we're going to talk about each. So, well, I, I don't yeah, know what you guys decided much. to do. So. What, what we said we wanted to get out of tonight, as far yep. as the design considerations is concerned, is we're going to go through and as a group weight each consideration. So okay, cool. whether cost is more important than range, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. Uh, then we'll go through and look at each one of our ideas and you know give them a tick in the box or a cross against each one of those considerations. And then at yeah, the nice. end, we should have a pretty good graphical representation and we can go from there. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah, and then you can, um, for the report, just assign one or two people to just finalise everything. Yep. Yeah. Make it, you know, seven worthy. Seven would be good.
as long as there's no fucking professional review bullshit on this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't, I don't know what everybody else, how they fared, but yeah, I, I didn't fare well. <laughs> so, for the professional review thing. Yeah, I so, just, so my, I the, just scraped through the professional review with a four, like just. The only thing that wasn't a marginal fail for me, oh, sorry, yeah. the only thing that I got good points on um, was the introduction. And then it just went down hill from there. And the professional review, I got a marginal file on. And the um, profesh- uh, the connections, I got a complete file yeah. on. Yeah, professional connections. It's rough, man. Struggled. No, no. I thought he was really Did awesome. you still manage to pass the whole thing? No. Like the no. report? No, it's failed. Dude, that's rough. Yeah, yep. So it's I thought it was okay. Better, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 You could still get a six. GPS yeah. six overall for the unit. Look, I, I never, I never came here worrying too much about my GPA, but it still hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I bet. it, it I really hurt my feelings. Yeah, well. yeah, I got a zero on the maths and followed up with that. I fucking nearly dropped out. <laughs> I nearly couldn't show my face on campus. <laughs> I, I just read Corey's whatever he wrote in the marking rubric and i was just like note it down yep all right that's where i can improve for next time yeah that's, yeah that's the yeah the, they gave me they gave me a stack of feedback so i'm just you know at some point when my feelings don't feel so hurt i'll go back through it and um and and sort of start jotting notes down yeah yeah that was like a lesson for me when i studied last time to remove all emotional connection. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just that my score was so low. You know, I, I was expecting, you know, I wasn't expecting full marks because, you know, it's the first report I've ever written. So I knew there'd be stuff I needed to work on. But yeah, to, to get a to get a fail, that, that hurt. It's rough, man. Feel for you. So, where's everyone up to? Do we want to go through and start waiting? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here waiting. Everyone's, everyone's yep. ready. I don't want to burn too much time tonight. I've got other shit. I Mate, I've been going since up. 4 yeah. o'clock this morning, so I'm, yeah. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm going to go through MATLAB and 111 stuff tonight. I'm going to yeah. go through 113 and do the problem solving task. Yeah, I finished that. Woohoo. <laughs> I don't yeah, even cool. realize that we had one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, you want you want to lead, Jason? Then, uh, sure. All right. So maybe I'm just trying to think of the easiest way without everyone shouting over them. Um, fuck. All right. So who thinks cost is the most highly weighted design consideration out of all of these? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. All right. I wouldn't. So, I would. I would say. Uh, just, 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 this way. This way. Sorry. Just, just do it this way. It's easier to do it this way. So. Yeah, we should. We should all just have our own opinion, and then, you know, pick. Yeah. So you just ask a question. Um. So. So who? I don't know. What's the best way to do this? I guess we could tally. We just, I guess, wait. Why don't? Why doesn't everyone just in the underneath it, right? Just do their own order of how they'd um order the importance. Well, for like, the design considerations. Um, I, I see what you're saying. Give me give me one sec. If you just do like a table and then everyone can just put How many their, of us how many uh, of us is there? Six of us, say? So, yeah, at the moment there is yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. everyone take one of these columns, write yeah. your name at the top and order them in preference. Just put your initials or something. Go in order of the Discord. Alright, okay. Oh yeah, no, I think that that's actually better. <laughs> Big dick jack. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie, no one's ever said that about me. <laughs> oh, that's how you use it. Yeah, I don't have that going for me either, man. Anyway, move. <laughs> <laughs> this, this just got this 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 night just got depressing. Jesus. I'm failing, you're not getting any sex. Like fucking hell. Yeah. 
So we're just going to put a one next to the thing that we think is the most important. Where yeah, is this? Is this under much. the design considerations, Tully? Yep. Yeah. Um. Right now. Wait, how many are there? One, two, three, four, six, eight. Um. Oh, it's 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 hard because yeah, I mean range and speed. Actually, they're what, they're the things that I find the most important. Was just number each one one two or three, whether mm. it's not important, really yeah. important, or just average importance. Oh, because then we were going to match them up to green, red, and yellow. Yeah, so just one, two, oh, or three. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, but there's more than three areas. Yeah, so don't weigh them against each other. So, uh, will, like, uh, just I, think, I think cost is really important, so I'm giving it a three. I think range is average important, so I'm giving it a two. Yeah, Speed's yeah. not all that important. Durability is really important. Uh, Ease of use yeah. is a two. Wait, so we're doing one to threes and we're just raking them, which if they're important or not. Wait, is, is Wait. three the best and then one the worst? Yeah, three's, three's the highest. Three's the highest important. Oh, okay. oh <laughs> I'm doing it completely wrong. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> My bad. We got it. What the hell? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing to me? <laughs> We've got it. I'm fucking it. That's why they nah. call me Passion Fingers. Everything I touch is <laughs> <laughs> Maintenance requirements, is that like, um... Oh, shit, I'm running someone that, else's thing. That's like... <laughs> that's Think really... of it as ongoing maintenance requirements. So yeah, how yeah, often so do like you have to service the equipment? And, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty important. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that's probably one of the more important ones as a technician. As a technician, I think I'll put an importance on that one. Can be linked so, to... No, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not. Wow, we've all gone against the grain with the speed. Oh, number, oh shit, number of users, let me try. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, hang on. Oh, I think I'm maybe I'm backwards again. So the which one's... The most important? One is the least important. God. Maybe God. we should... God. Like, maybe... The other way. <laughs> if, everyone's, if everyone's happy, I'm going to split this one. So... I'm going to split it into speed and bandwidth instead of putting those as the same thing. Oh, All right. yeah, because yeah. I don't think speed's all that important, but bandwidth, you need it to be able to service the entire community. Uh, two or three. What? Shouldn't we have a limit of numbers that we can give? Because if we just give everything a three, like... Shouldn't each of us have a sum total of like you have twenty points to allocate? Yeah, that would, that would make uh, more. How does the math work otherwise? So I was just gonna that, average, that... then come through to here and see what design considerations we're giving more weight to. Yeah, so if you add them up, so, like if you add them up, the you'll be able to. Columns is going to be different. Yeah, I, I, I mean, happy. I don't other ideas. Don't don't yeah, sum the columns. Good. Don't sum the columns. Sum the rows. Yeah, I was yeah. just going but, row, but row the rows, independent. The rows represent a percentage of the numbers in the column. Yeah. Otherwise, you could just give threes to everything, and it wouldn't matter. Yeah. True, you, you could, but then you would you would be saying every single design consideration is of the utmost importance. Yeah, see, I, yeah, I agree. If, I agree with think. Jason. Yeah, I mean, if you add that up, you can see, you can just see, looking at it, that everyone right. really agrees that cost is probably more important than implementation or installation difficulty. Because if you add them up, you've got three plus three plus two plus three plus three plus three versus, you know, two plus two sure. plus two plus one plus one plus uh, one. Would it work? Would it work better if we just rank them one to eight? One being the most important, eight well, being the least important. This is I mean, just the way around, an sorry. idea of what yeah. we want to pursue, right? It doesn't have yeah. to be that. Yeah, but it needs to be used in the assignment, though, for the de decision matrix. So my my goal to get out of this was we're going to end up with, over here on the right-hand side, 
all our six ideas and each design consideration, either a tick in the box saying, you know, it's either good, it's all right, or it's really shit. And then we can look back over on the left and we can say, all right, so building new towers is really expensive in a very important category. So that is a big problem. Whereas the speed is really good on those towers, but it's not all that important to us anyway. And then yeah. when we flesh this right-hand side out, you'll be able to see a whole heap of green for really important design considerations, which adds more weight to that one. Yeah, Whereas we... if... Yeah, go on. Sorry, we could do a ranking or weighting system after that. Like... In more in line with what was in the tutorial today. Like oh, this, this what, it out. Yeah, what I got out of what was in the tutorial was pretty much this. Like we're not going about it the exact same way he did, but we're giving each design consideration a weighting so that mm. when we look yeah, at the yeah, ideas, yeah. those those rows hold hold a bit of value to us. Sure. Hey, I was hey. Um... Sorry, I was telling Craig earlier that I am supposed to be at a birthday dinner tonight, which yeah. I pushed way back. But I told them that I could go at eight, um, so I should go. Um, but <laughs> if you guys are still chatting after that, I'll jump back on. Otherwise, we we just each researching a design topic. Yeah, right? just start adding yeah. it. We shouldn't be too long here. We'll just get this and done, this thing and, do and, then we, and we jump out. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, well, I, I think you left them. Do we just pick, pick one each and go for yeah. it? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, just kind of like even it out and try and do what no one else is doing. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't go. Good. That's all good. I'll, um, yeah. We'll be in contact on Discord though. No worries. All right. See you, fellas. Yeah. See you. Right. Um, what about the oh, posted? The nano, um, system. yeah, the the oh, I can never. I've installed so many of them, I can never remember what they're called. I get to a nano and I can't remember what the last bit is. Nano something, nano, nano, nano station, <laughs> nano station. That's it, yeah. yeah. Nano station is that's just the brand name. They're the people that, that build them, they're really good. Like, they are, they are. I think if anybody read my little blurb about them yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're really good and look you know I installed one seven years ago it's still running it's never been reset um it's never played up <laughs> like it's just you know it's installed on my mate's shipping container where he's got his workshop um and anything goes wrong you know he rings me so and he hasn't rang me so still working I just liked it because it had like a range of about fifteen to twenty k. So yeah, yeah pretty decent. Yeah. And and they're cheap. They're, they're not expensive. Yeah. Like one of those, yeah. the one that I installed on, and this was a while ago, so they're probably cheaper again still. But I think the whole kit was like two hundred and fifty bucks. That was yeah. it. Yeah. Like that. That had everything. Everything you needed, including the cables and everything, for two hundred and fifty bucks. It was like shit. So that was what I used to install the one at Glen Innes where we launched it off because they couldn't get MBN out on their property. So I came in and, and they installed MBN on the property they had in on town. And I launched that up to the hill that was on their property and then back down to the homestead. And basically, you know, gave them wireless NBN out on their property. And again, like, even in rain, storms, like, it still works. Just... It surprised me. It surprised me how effective they actually were. I I initially like seen the YouTube video and then I googled it some more and I was like, man, this is actually legit. Yep. So, yeah, yeah. Where on Glen Innes did you do it? Like on a farm? Ah, uh, yeah. So I was out on um, Bullock Mountain. Ah, uh, yeah. What, you know Glen cool. in this area? Uh, yeah, I went down there for a hunting trip. Yeah, nice. Last year. Yeah. Whereabouts? Because that's where I'm from. So. Um, um, I'm not too... It was like half an hour away from town. We were on this um 
bull farm, like, and we were just shooting ruse and other things. Yeah, fair rabbits, enough. So. There's plenty of rabbits yeah. out there. Good eating, yeah. too. Good eating the rabbits out there. There's no, no diseases. Ah, oh, we left them for the foxes. <laughs> no, don't do that. No one in Glen Innes likes the foxes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't think there's a single person there that would give a shit if you shot the foxes. No, I don't think there would have been. So that pretty much gave us these weightings in this column now. So we're saying uh, I like is it. weighted at three, they will have a numerical value. So then when we go through and do all these, we'll give uh, red elements by a weighting of one, yellow will have a weighting of two, green will have a weighting of three. Then you multiply all those together and it should give you a number down the bottom for how applicable each one of these ideas is, if that makes sense. Yeah, I like it. Makes sense to me. Yeah. So, for for example, we're going to say that G-Spotter is really cheap and it's going to be... Fucking green. I got the find wrong, it. I got the wrong color. So that would mean for just these two. So for building new towers, it's expensive. So it would be weighted as a one in a row that's worth three. So it's going to yep. have three points. Yep. But G spotter is cheap. So it's going to be three in a row that's worth three. So it's going to be worth nine points. Yeah. And then it gives us a numerical value down the bottom for how good each one of these is. So why is why is Starlink expensive? Because from what I understood, it was actually relatively cheap. So yeah, I thought need, it was pretty cheap too. You need about seventeen of them, is that right? I think to the community. Yeah, and it's a thousand dollars start up and a hundred and thirty a month. So it's the ongoing cost. So yeah, I th I think there's always I going will. to be ongoing costs though, isn't there? Um, like for instance, the the ongoing costs for Skymaster. Um, for our commercial really? plans, about two hundred and fifty dollars a month. Yeah, right. I haven't. So, I just thought that um, Starlink in the long term would be quite expensive, but like I haven't compared them to the other options. Yeah, I'm not sure. So, so maybe in here for now we'll make some notes. So, building new yep. towers is prohibitively expensive. Yes, yep. it was greater than one hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars per tower. Yeah, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars just to set it up. Yep. Oh. Starlink. Um, so we we really need, I guess, to have these relative against each other. So yep. I would say mm -hmm. that thousand dollars a community for a startup cost is sweet fuck all. Yeah. Like that's yeah pittance really in the big scheme of engineering things especially so, with subsidization yeah. government yeah. subsidization is is going to yeah so right. my vote would be to make starlink's initial cost cheap. as cheap i agree well all right i'll see what you mean that starlink's limitation is that it's kind of an unknown territory it is yeah yeah so banking on it to be all that's talked up to yeah. be. And then, so the ongoing cost for Starlink was what about one hundred and thirty bucks a month per user? Yeah, about one hundred and thirty nine, exactly. Yeah. So if we're for in this column, if we're, row, if we're saying uh, in terms of monthly phone bill, and what I mean by that is I pay. I think 50 bucks a month to get my ridiculous amount of data that I use. So I would say 130 bucks a month for access to the internet is expensive. I wouldn't pay that a fucking month and I'm not living up in Cape York type thing. So yep. I would say 130 bucks a month for it would be expensive to me. And we have to take into account that average households up there which is about three people. And yeah, old like, mate today said they yeah only had like nine hundred bucks a month or something. Yeah, yeah. It's something like yeah nine sixty two. I'm pretty sure. Wow, okay. that's not much. A week, so. Alrighty.
So then range of Starlink, I mean, that's got to be great, right? Because it's satellite, oh, it's... you can put one wherever you want. Yep. You, you're good to go. Well, everybody's, so, everybody provides their own. So, you know, maybe yeah. the government oh, might, might step in and subsidize one. it, but it's, it's a case of, yeah, I mean, or it covers the entire area. So the extreme. range would... I'll, I'll yeah. put extreme. Uh, cool. Speed. speed. Does anyone know roughly yeah, what speed is? So speed is upwards. Uh, they're promising upwards of 100 Mbps uh, with a ping ratio of less than 20 milliseconds, which is amazing. Yeah. You can game on so that. We'll I mean, it's, it's, it's not amazing compared to NPN, but... Yeah. It's it's amazing for an area that doesn't have broadband and is never going to see those speeds if it doesn't happen. The bandwidth, how so? Uh, in terms of users, in terms of uh, so bandwidth, so yeah, bandwidth for Starlink is unlimited. So how many how many people can use one Starlink system? Well, at 100 Mbps, time, yeah, at 100 Mbps, if you uh, limit each user to, say, 3 Mbps, which is more than enough to stream on Netflix, uh, well, that's, yeah. uh, that's, that's hard for numbers because that's a fucking repeating number. Um, limit everyone to 5, that's 20 users per 100 need, Mbps. Do you need an extra bit of kit for that? Like, do you need a router? Because that's, I'm yeah, using you, Starlink you, is just your connection and then you need your own router. No, I'm pretty sure Starlink comes with a router, but I wouldn't have a clue what's on it. So you would probably just say you need an additional router and then you can set those yeah. up. You'd need a Cisco router yeah. if you wanted to do it properly. So we'll give that one there high as well. Uh, durability of it. I mean, from what I've seen, they're just a little satellite dish. If you were in really <laughs> shitty weather, you could bring it inside and you're good to go. Yeah, true. But if you fart too, yeah, if you fart too loud, you might knock it over. True. Right, so maybe, <laughs> so maybe for this one, we can say it's uh, not durable but very portable because we also can't rely on the people who are up there. To, How about I suppose, take care hell? of it for yeah. us. Um, so ease of use for it, though, it would be easy to use because I mean the YouTube videos I watched about it. They pretty much just take it out of the box, set it up, they're good to go. It's just like having your house plugged into <laughs> fiber. Yeah, really easy setup. Yep. Yeah. No, I'm 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 getting it, like, because I live portably, so I literally live in a caravan. <laughs> I'll be getting it for sure. Just if, if nothing else, just to try it. So maintenance requirements then would be there's fuck all for it. Yep. Pretty much. Uh, Implementation. Everyone happy really with easy. it being easy to install and implement? Yeah. Well. Wow. Yep. Mm. Easy but for I us. Can't. Easy for us to install. I guess, do you want to take into consideration the demographic? Uh, yeah. We did, and in the in the purpose section, um, that's where we can go into fleshing that out a bit more. So yeah, okay. how cool. much community engagement are we then going to have to do to make these sustainable type things? Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, um, but I couldn't think of any way to get Starlink to hook in with the CFAT hotspot. No, no, I don't think so. No. That uses cool. the own technology. I um, suppose it's we should Master. figure. Sky it's Sky Master. Is it, or Master. I haven't searched much on that one. Yeah, I haven't really either. Um, so is everyone happy with these first... Uh, two comms. I'm, I suppose I'll give this one a cheap ongoing cost because if we were to set up that kind of system, yeah, but it's not. I mean, it's we, not. We can't. Wouldn't, wouldn't it's you need prohibitively to up expensive. Generator, though? Yeah, well, your generator, solar panels, maintenance technicians. Um, I, I, keeping in mind that the 
this Starlink is expensive per person, like per user, yeah. but it's very cheap for, say, CFAT, whereas yeah. the cost of the tower would be the opposite. It would be cheap per user, yeah. you know, per, per household, because they don't have to do anything, but for CFAT, it would be incredibly expensive to keep that maintained. Yeah. Um, for instance... So maybe the ongoing cost cost ongoing for the user because that's really what yeah, we're yeah. Yeah. concerned about. So, um, I mean, if if they were to have a full phone tower set up up there, they'd be paying the same per month for their phone bills that we are. Yeah. So it would be relatively yep. cheap. But keeping in mind as well, maybe, I, I don't know if everyone agrees, adding another road that's cost ongoing for community. Um, you know, for instance, uh, a lot of your communities around Moree used to pay my company upwards of $15,000 to go replace the cables because the cockatoos would eat the cables every five years. Well, yeah. So you'd the literally go out and the two days. The user and then the running costs. Yeah, or community. I don't know, community, cost, cost to community. I'm not, I'm, I honestly don't know how that would work up that far north because I'm not sure. I'm not sure who would yeah. who would be managing the costs of of that, whether it would be the communities themselves or whether it's yeah, you know, comes I mean, back onto the the councils. We probably the don't even area. have to. We probably don't even have to look at that too deeply yeah. right now because we know it's prohibitively expensive. Like yeah, 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 true. It's it's not going to be a thing. So is everyone happy with how this is working so far? So then. Oh, yeah. To build new towers versus Starlink, these would all get numerical values, and then we would be able to compare them. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's the idea of it. You can flesh it out more in the final report. Yeah, yeah. This this will also give us an idea. I'm just gonna change that to a U because it's pissing me off. <laughs> do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Love you, Jason. So Love would, your work, buddy. Yeah. One yeah. times three. Yeah. Three times three. Plus one times gone three. Off for now, actually. Let's have a look. So that's MBN code, so right. It is, yeah. It was supposed to be the miracle cure. It wasn't. <laughs> It really fucking wasn't. <laughs> Two billion dollar. Uh, I think I was. I think I was one of the first ten people to get connected to it. Or it wasn't me. It was connecting my mum, because you know I could I could basically sign up for the beta trial because I was a technician at the time. Um, relatively good, like really good download speeds. But I tried to play a game of. I think it was MTG, MTG Arena or something like that on yeah. it. And oh my god, I couldn't I, I couldn't even play that. Like it just the the latency. I did a speed test and it sat around 600 milliseconds. But for those who don't know what a good millisecond is, NBN's about 1. <laughs> 1 millisecond and this thing was sitting at 600. It's like fuck. Oh, yeah, I get pissed off when I have over 60 ping. Oh yeah, you can't even play. I like, am playing COD on sixty ping. Not, not happening. Yeah, I've been playing COD at the moment. I get one hundred and forty-four frames on ultra settings. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Good feeling. Yep. Yeah. It's such a cool optimal um, game too. So, do we want to go through the rest of these tonight, or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get them out of the way. Yep. All right, then. Uh, let's... And then through the week, we can make some adjustments. Yeah, so yeah, Sky cool. Muster is, based on my experience, is exactly the same, except for bandwidth would be low. Yeah. Um, really fucking low, uh, which is the main issue with it. Because I think they only give you 40 gig. Like, that's it. 40 gig. Nothing more. Doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. 
they won't give you any more than 40 gig. Um, and the installation requires an NBN technician with a meter that costs nearly $10,000. So implementation is... Is that is that just like a money grabbing technique kind of? No, nah, it's not. It's just supply and demand. They have to be custom made. Yeah. So when the fixed wireless system came out, we asked for a meter, and they're like, "What do you need a meter for?" And we're like, "Well, we fucking need to check the signal when we're installing it." And they're like, "Oh, we, we don't have one." So we had to go build our own. <laughs> and I literally sat there with Ericsson on a Saturday night with a fucking carton of beer, and and we sat there and we made a meter. And then slowly improved it over a couple months. Um, I have had an ins technician Wait. install one on my shed um, yeah. about two years ago, and still using the same meter. They never even bothered updating it. Like it's literally a plastic box, like a fucking lunchbox, with components inside and a Bluetooth transmitter that connects to your phone, um, and a little battery that you have to charge up, which provides power to the ODU via PoE. <laughs> <laughs> it was it's literally exactly the same. They didn't even change the fucking cabling. They just started mass producing them and handing them out to technicians. So that was fixed wireless with the satellite one. Yeah, I mean, it's one satellite in the sky that launches broadband over one country. There's probably 250 technicians Australia-wide that work on the NBN SkyMaster system. So that's literally 250 metres. So the cost of manufacturing, that's just ridiculous uh, I'm just changing this one here somehow Pretty I good. get the wrong thing range is really good for Australia yeah it is yep Anywhere range else? is excellent Anywhere else? Pretty shit. yep speeds are good um I can't remember what the cost is but I think the the overall monthly cost isn't that expensive it's cheaper than Starlink. I got the yeah. website up here. Yeah, cool. It's, is this Skymaster? Yeah, yeah, so you get there's two options. There's the plus version and the regular version. So the plus yeah. is about seventy dollars per month. And is reasonable. The is about thirty five. So. so the lowest one was thirty five, so we can say that it's cheap then. Yep. Cool. How many gig uh, do they any... give you on that 35? Um, data blocks. Needed. Review plans. On the 35. Yeah. Well, I've just went to plans and then the cost has gone up to about $70. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like that sounds you like something NBN would fun. do. Yeah. Why does it have the what? What was the uh, initial cost for Skymaster? Um, I'm not sure on that one. I believe the know, installation is free. Yeah, yeah, I believe it's free. I don't know whether that's changed, but I'm yeah. quite certain. I know they all the equipment remains the property of NBN Co, which means they can't charge you for it. Ah. Oh, right. Uh, but there's going to be costs associated with getting the tech up there as well if it's all got to be installed by a licensed tech, right? Yeah, but that doesn't go to the uh, user because the MBN Co cover the installation costs because they're required to connect every home in Australia by 2035. Uh, it's the even cost... Even remote communities and stuff? Even, even remote communities. That's why they launched the satellite in the first place because they realised they couldn't do uh, it on... Uh, fixed wireless um, just double check that that hasn't changed while you're on the website and see what the installation cost is it should be zero but it might have changed yeah maybe I will can I highlight this one? yeah alright so I'll highlight things that we need to double check yeah cool and then that'll give us something to go on but happy to keep cracking on free installation yeah, that's Free what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, standard installation, which is yep. what we choose. 
But it, what I don't get is your monthly fee starts at $35 per month and then you go down to their plans and suddenly you're on $70 per month. Yeah, that could be, that could be a case that it's in the process of being changed. Oh, it could be that too, yeah. could be England's yeah, router. Alright, but we'll go with the cheapest plan you could yeah. find with 70 bucks a month. Yeah, so which is reasonable. That's... Yeah. More than reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Um, running costs. Running costs are cheap. Yeah, cheap. I don't think yeah. I don't think there are any running costs, are there? Uh, no. I need to see the, the power to use it. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure they're a small unit. I think. Yeah. I, I vaguely remember they're only five watt. You're only powering a small uh -huh. LMB oh. at the dish, so that's it. Range is extreme because you can get it yep. wherever there's open sky. Uh, speed, you said, was good. Yep, but the bandwidth yeah, was good. not. Yeah, the bandwidth, bandwidth is lower. That's, that's, that's Do we have any rough numbers? A 40 gig uh, maximum per month, uh, last I checked. That may have so gone up. Yeah, the benefit is if you, if you do research it, you will find that MBN Co are in the final stages of releasing the data cap on satellite like they did with fixed wireless which means yeah. it will become unlimited but there was a Let's fucking there was a note that i came across that that will not yeah. include streaming services like youtube or netflix you will still have to pay for them do we want to say that 40 gig a month is low or average yeah. cuz no, we were that's, talking that's, today and that's we were really low defining but when we were defining the scope of this today, we said that what we were going to try and provide them wasn't necessarily for them to be able to stream. It was mm. for them to do all their business-related stuff and That's social media low. and yeah, stuff have, like, their minimum stuff. Yeah, but the problem is, yeah, like, I mean, from a different generation, <laughs> uh, uh, to me is <laughs> a simple a simple computer update like a Windows update these yeah. days is you know and fuck based on what I've seen over the last month, Windows updates every four hours. So, you know, I, I would have, I would have choose through 40 gig. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. Cheers, buddy. Have a good night, man. See you later. Yeah. See ya. Durability, uh, yeah. be the same as Starlink then if you've just got a receiver. Uh, it does, but it's bolted right. to the roof and it's bolted to over-engineered specifications, so its durability would be excellent. Every installation across Australia, even in non-cyclone non areas, have to be installed to cyclone yeah. rating. So every single mount, I don't know why they decided that, but fuck it, they did. So every mount sure. Australia-wide is the same and it's cyclone rated, so. That's really uh, good though. Ease of use then would be the same thing. Once it's there, it just runs. Yeah, it's just running. Teaching them how to turn the power on and off is about anything you need to teach. Sure. Maintenance requirements. We're going to say nil. I'll, I'll put minor. Ooh. Because nil's very specific. Yeah. Minimal. Minimal sounds better. It does. It sounds more, more professional. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can be linked with existing things. No. Uh, cool. If you guys want to go on with G Spot, I'll crunch some numbers on this column. See where we're at. All right. So it does. I don't want to spend all night doing this shit. Yeah, no, that I meant. I've been up since four, so I really need to sleep soon. <laughs> um, G Spotter. So uh, I, I haven't, apart from looking at the front page of the website, I haven't really done too much. So there'll probably be a few highlights in here. We're still waiting for an email to... to yeah. Well, I would... I would guess by the time you've bought all the equipment that you need. And keeping in mind that G-Spot up... You're going to have to create an access point before you can broadcast and set up, access, uh, set up relays for that access point. So G-Spot is actually going to rely on either Skymaster or Starlink. Yep. to actually work yep. so it's actually so, going to add expenses to both of those systems 
but it would reduce the overall community expenses because you'd have multiple users. Yeah, so um, initial cost, I guess, would be expensive. Moderate, I would say. I, I would say moderate because, remember, expensive is to build new towers. So comparatively... Yeah, so we're comparing it to... Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you'd be doing something centrally located on maybe a council building and then having multiple users, but I reckon you could probably spend... Oh... Ten thousand dollars on equipment. That's still very cheap compared. It is. To it there. is. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still, yeah, you'd ideally want someone to subsidise that. Yeah, and while we're there, self-made towers and the trailer-mounted system um, okay. would both be the same. Yeah. Uh, they'd both be the same because it's the same concept. In actual fact, both the self-made towers and the trailer-mounted system would probably have the same setup on it. Whoa. Yep. How much do you reckon a tra trailer mounted system would be roughly? It'd be about the same plus the cost yep. of solar plus the cost of the trailer. So if the trailer's minimal, there'd be five hundred to a thousand dollars for the trailer. Um, same thing if you did a container version of that. And the solar setup would probably be the most expensive, so add two thousand. Yep. So if you added three thousand dollars to it. You'd also need a company who's gonna actually build it though so they'd be taking a cut of that like True. A huge could, huge cut because you'd have to go that. and find a company who's going to build you a very specific thing they're going to build at most 17 of them and then that's going to be the end of the contract yeah but couldn't so they would charge a fuck done for it couldn't the engineers at um so uh and yeah couldn't they develop it themselves like, if they only have to do 17 to 20 of them, couldn't they, you know, make it on site? Why can't QUT, for instance, make those trailers as, you know, university projects? I, I see what you're saying. Mm. And that stuff definitely happens too. Um, G spot on ongoing costs, I feel, would be cheap. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Running, yeah. You're done. So, yep. Running costs, cheap again. Yeah. Um, range. Depends on where they are. Um, yeah, I mean... I mean, it's moderate. Yeah, yeah I, I moderate. would agree it's moderate because if you're at a high topography, then yes, the range would be increased. Then, Not so much if you were camped by a river. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's go with that. Well, that sounds professional. I like that. <laughs> um, speed, speed would be pretty good for like what they're wanting. Absolutely, yeah. It'd be speed, 4G speed. So that'll be good enough. Yeah, it'd be four G speeds, and it would be limited to the. It'd be limited to the 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 access point, the, like the actual physical network. Uh, Oh god, my brain! My brain doesn't. My brain's shutting down. <laughs> the the internet connection, like the the main connection that it would be broadcasting, yeah. it'd be limited by that. But the actual speeds of the equipment itself, yeah, four G speeds, which I think's good. Give that green as well. We oh, I hate these cell shading shit. Yeah, <laughs> should what we should have done is done it in Excel. Or done it in um, yeah. Google Docs and then copied it across. That's what we should have done. Okay. I can't Next even time. get the fucking green color. It's, it's all good. Let's just get it banged out tonight. We've, we've already been here for an hour. Yeah. yeah. Bandwidth. Um, what was the bandwidth on 4G? Uh, limited to the. Well, I mean, bandwidth on 4G is excellent. Bandwidth That's bandwidth why we do it. Really, right? You can have 250 users on a tower, yeah. on a single tower, yeah, right. depending on the cells. So bandwidth is fantastic, but again, it'll be limited by the main access point. Okay. So if you had 250 people on it, would it fuck the speed? Like, I know with the... Yes. Yeah, so you have... still share it. You still have to yeah. share that. But again, you're not sharing it. Like the tower itself is capable of all those simultaneous connections. But yeah, the okay. base of the tower, where that tower accesses the internet, then that's what it's a bottleneck. So 
that's that's where the limitation and that's why if you've got 250 users you know sitting on youtube um you know everyone gets knocked back to 320p right. 320p so, that doesn't sound right 720p 240p that's it yeah i didn't think 320 sounded right 240 is i think the lowest yeah. 240, 360, 540. 540, 720. 540 before. Yeah. yeah. Give that one a, give that one a green. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Can you uh, change the color? Like it's the one. Can above. I what? What? Can you put your green in the one above? Sure. Fucking with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, almost, almost there. Let's keep going. Uh, durability. durability. Um, yeah. Durability uh, would be relatively good, uh, especially for s the smaller stuff. Um, and considering that website we it had something like a five-year guarantee. What if a cyclone came into the area? Yeah, it'd, it'd um, be similar to Starlink, right? Yeah, you'd, yeah, yeah, it would be. Oh, but the thing is, yeah, yeah no, not yeah. your ability because it's not portable. The trailer-mounted one is. Trailer mounted is the same. Oh no, that'd be hella durable. So what, what are we saying for G Spotter? I thought G Spotter was a yeah. is it a fixed. It thing, is. is it? I thought it was kind yeah. of the size uh, of a Starlink uh, thing. Nah, I'd put it as a moderate. I mean, G Spotter is however you want to build it. You build it with the equipment that you need. So if you need a thirty-two dB gain antenna then you put a 32 db gain antenna on it so you sort of build it it's like a modular system so i would yeah. say the durability would be relatively good and Is they're small systems so durability if you're yeah, worrying so you about weather they're designed to be yeah. out in the weather yeah uh, and i i suppose we saw the thing that said that um the rural fire service and cops up there yeah. Using that shit too. Yeah. Wow. There you go. So they're durable for durable their use. And yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and portable. Because if there was a cyclone coming, you could move it inside. Yeah. Uh, ease of use, easy maintenance requirements, uh, minimal. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. You only basically need technicians up there, and there's plenty of them. Yeah. Uh, I will crunch some numbers. Uh, All right, I think you can pretty well, you can pretty well copy all of those into a trailer mounted system, except the maintenance would be moderate. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, I'll Cheap. I'm going. Yes. Running costs cheap. Range very good or moderate. Range depends on where the trailer is, pretty much. Speed's yep. good. Yeah. Bandwidth good. Durability good. Yeah, because good. you can. Yeah, it's durable and portable. Ease of use. Yeah, pretty damn easy. You just. Hook well, it if yeah, it. like if if we sort of go along the lines of of my my idea of of making it automated. Then yeah, you yeah. don't even need to teach people. You just need to teach people how to restart it, basically, and then yeah, it'll refine the signal. Uh, mate, yeah, well, maintenance. Yeah, I agree. Implementation. So that's getting it up there. Would it is. Yeah. So I'd put that as moderate. I mean, it'd be easy enough to make it and then transport it up there. I don't, I don't think it's any more difficult than any of the others. Um. Um, I'm trying to think of a word for it. Ah, oh, fuck. Ooh, consider um, transport costs. Yeah, consider transport costs um, and maybe consider implementation by university. Or something along those lines. It could be like a third or fourth year subject for people. 
Yeah. You'd also then be limited by the access in wet seasons and stuff like that. So yeah, moderate work. You limited yeah. with the wet season for implementing it for basically all of them, I think. All the yeah. rows above is going to be the same thing as the because I I can fill those in while we go. Yeah, yeah, like, just fill them in. It's, rows above I think them. it's I think it's the same as G Spotter. I think that's what we decided, same didn't as we? G Spotter. Um, yeah, pretty much maintenance moderate. Yeah, maintenance was the sort of the main thing. Yeah, maintenance was moderate because you'd have to have, um, obviously, you know, maintaining the trailer and tyres, you know, registration costs, those sorts of things. For the self-made towers, the maintenance high or moderate? Oh, I haven't even looked at self-made towers yet. Um, oh, oh, did oh, right. the article. Um, My bad. I thought we'd already done that. Stuff. It'd be similar. Sorry, to, man. No, we hadn't. Similar to like a regular tower, anyway. I would imagine so. Except it'd be it'd need more maintenance because it wouldn't be built to the same standards and yeah, specifications. Yeah. So it'd be it'd be less durable and require more maintenance. Also extremely dangerous. I don't know whether you guys have ever seen bush engineers, but holy fuck. <laughs> you, turn, you turn up on site and they're like, oh, the dish is up there. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck where it is. I'm not going up there. <laughs> and it's, yeah. this, it's this thing that's been fucking bushwired together, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's just three poles tied at the top with a fucking... And I'm like, nah, <laughs> I'm good, mate. Thanks. It wouldn't surprise me to see something like that. Like, water, water hole, too. Just, you know, they don't give a fuck, really. No, nah, as long as it works. Yeah. Um, Self-made towers, can it be linked? Um, yeah, it can be. Yeah. Oh, no. No, not really. No. I, w I mean, mate, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. For the for the trailer mounted system, if they're running off of generators, we should probably give it a moderate uh, no, cost because No, it'd be run uh, off solar. It wouldn't be run off generators, it'd be run off solar. Solar with a battery. Right. So that's that's how those that's how those um uh portable street light systems work. And the way I yeah. see it is if that can sit there and provide almost daylight levels of light or not yeah. then it can it can run communications equipment or not long. yeah sure oh. i think there's a fair few batteries on it as well like there's a fair few batteries i'd love to, i'd love to get one i'd love to just pull the tools out and and start pulling one down yeah, but i'm pretty sure they'd arrest me if i tried yeah absolutely I'm pretty sure I've seen one at like a doof I went to. Yeah. Um, so range range is pretty good, but it's dependent on the um it's the same as the G spotter. What's this, the towers or the trailer mounted system? Trailer, yeah. Cause it depends where the trailer itself is. Correct, so yeah. To me it's moderate. One of the benefits is that once everyone sort of cycles back into town for, you know, whatever that seasonal cycle is, you'd end up with, you know, probably multiple trailers in each town. Yeah. Um, easily replicatable. And the moment you've got multiple tower, like multiple trailers, you know, everybody's sharing more internet. Like there, there'll be more bandwidth there. Um, and I reckon, just to make it easy, if everyone agrees, just copy new towers into self-made towers and just change the maintenance. Just copy and put... Uh, Would not oh, no, be moderate. I'm thinking uh, running yeah. costs... Running costs would be pretty cheap, actually, in my opinion. 
um, but, uh, yeah. A four G, like a big ass four G tower, isn't that going to chew up a ton of juice? Yeah, it is. But the self-made towers won't be that big. The self-made towers are using small, commercially available equipment, whereas you yeah, know, the ones that focus on a tower already, and then they strengthen the signal with something on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're sort of just homemade relays, basically. I, I've seen a few of them. I haven't read this article yet. I, I saw it in there, but I haven't got around to reading it. They look like they look like friendly gentlemen. They they don't look pissed off at the system at all. Um, okay, one more. So running costs. What do you think? I'm gonna pull up the article too while we're at it. Yeah, look, I can't imagine the running costs would be that expensive. I, I don't think so either. Because the equipment on it won't be power, won't be too power hungry. Because as I said, they're not high speed microwaves and there's no fiber optic systems at the base of it, so... It's basically just to receive the signal via antenna and plug it into five, maybe, you know, ten watts and um, kick it back out the other end. Hell, at one stage there, Telstra was giving that shit away for free. Would t yeah, I reckon for self-made towers, Telstra would sign up for something like that. Well, they've certainly... I mean, you can go and buy 4G equipment right now because it's, you know, it's available at commercial auctions because they're pulling down the 4G towers and replacing them with 5G equipment. And then by the time they get, you know, <laughs> some signals up, the next tech technological increase <laughs> will occur, and then they'll break all those down. It's a never-ending cycle. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the wireless side will, will go. Wireless, I think, will just keep getting faster and faster, but fiber optics never will, because nothing's faster than the speed of light in a vacuum, and that's exactly what fiber yeah. optics is. So. Fiber optics is the end goal. Well, unless they develop black hole technology. Yeah, I was going to say the only thing, you know, light can't escape to the gravitational pull of a black hole. Yeah. I think a um, black hole the size of like a 10 cent piece would swallow the earth or something. Yeah, something like that. It's really minuscule. Ooh, which row are we up to? We're on the uh... Yeah, I'm I think to... third one. Let's let's get this Sorry. done. Let's bring it to an yeah, end. I'm, I'm, I'm fucked going, already. I'm, I'm going <laughs> through the article, right? Trying to see if I can see anything. <laughs> uh, well, let's look at range. So range would be moderate, depending on topography. Yeah. Yep. Uh, speed would be four uh, G speeds limited to the main access point. Same as the G spotter. Same. And the trailer is the same as well, so we can just... Can you just copy and paste? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sweet. There you go. Well, it doesn't copy the colour. Rude. Dur durability for the self-made tower, I'm going to say moderate. Yeah, I'd say... Yeah. So there'd be um, certain manufacturing shortcuts. There would be. Moderate, depending on... Um, Which one's this for? The bandwidth or durability? Durability. So moderate, moderate depending on design. I don't think they give you like a um, a budget tower, but it certainly wouldn't be as good as say Telstra making the tower. No, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be anywhere near. Nowhere no. near. Unless you had like a team of engineers like come together and going, yeah, this is gonna be really cool. But I'm pretty sure the two people that did it uh, like live up, live in the rural. Parts of Australia. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not really interested in... Nah. It's also why for maintenance, so I'm going to say that it's going to be high and yeah. the ease of yep. use is yep. going to be... Moderate. Moderate. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say difficult, right? Yeah, Because cool. once you... Well, I think it should be difficult because yep. once you've built the thing, you're going to need someone there all the time who can patch all the different bits of kit together. 
Not yeah. all the time, and, uh, but you need someone on hand. Or yeah. Yeah. And and look, I'll tell you right now, most technicians across Australia will not touch a self design like a home design system. No, no. We won't touch it because you take liability <laughs> the moment you touch it. So the next time it breaks, it's your fault. Yeah. Yeah, you, know. you seriously injure yourself. Yeah, That's true. it. Yeah, you just don't. You just don't touch it. What do you reckon Ugh. the bandwidth would be, though? Oh, uh, would be pretty good. It would be, oh, yeah, the bandwidth. Yeah, the bandwidth would be... Cause it, yeah, it might as well go focuses, good. It focuses on it already, like, a yeah. hour. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll make that one as well. Yeah, I, um, I once ran a phone cable out to the exchange uh, property I was living at because Telstra wouldn't do it. And Telstra turned up and had a hissy fit. And he's once he was finished his, his hissy fit, and I'm like, you're done? And he's like, well, yeah, yeah, I'm done, but, you know, I, I can't touch it. And I'm like, why not? And he's like, well, are you a trained technician? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, are you qualified? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh. All right, <laughs> and he just connected it. Oh, funny old fellow he was. God. <laughs> oh well, that's all right then. Yeah, that's all right then. God, it was yeah, it was because he just he just went straight. He just went straight for the throat. Like he was. <laughs> I think he'd I think he'd seen it you know a few times before. Um, does it need extra training? Yes. Uh, for the trailer mounted system, yes, it will need extra training. Um, and ju just <sighs> one final thing for my eyes can we just fix all the color schemes up? Yep. I, think. I thought I just made them all. Oh, I missed one. There, there's, there's about three boxes down the Oh, there we go. No, it just hadn't updated yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it just updated oh, on my screen. Is conflicting changes um i've got band uh -huh. issues here <laughs> oh yeah craig's is very different to mine oh what I don't what do you mean how to fix that i, I don't, don't know i just got a pop-up that said there's conflicting changes um oh uh well that's gone now yeah it's gone yeah, now I just deleted it Um, uh, do we want to put basic training required for trailer? Basic training required? I don't mean military yeah. training, I just mean, like, just, you know. Hooking it up. <laughs> yeah. Don't uh, need to, don't need yeah. to head off, don't need to head off the fucking, oh man, I feel like I've been at basic training today. You've been going been since fucking 4am. Jesus. <laughs> I delivered fucking boxes for 12 hours and then came home and started studying. I'm like, fucking hell. Ease of use for the trailer systems basically press the button, isn't it? Press the yeah, switch. pretty much. Yep. So you'd have basic training of what switch to push when, but apart from that, everything would be automated. I like that word. Automated. Are we done? Yeah, I think we're done. So Good hustle, boys. Oh, we need uh, Jason just to do the final calculation. I'm almost the... there. He's got the All over it like a fat kid on a Kit Kat. <laughs> and then we just let everyone else in the group know, you know, have a look at it and see if you agree, add anything yep. throughout the week. Yeah. And in class, uh, the... we can yeah. really start fleshing out some... Um, how we going to approach the research component, I suppose. And I guess we can assign roles for certain sections of the report next week or whatever. Yep. Yeah, I won't be there again next week because I've, I've got to work again. But just yeah. let me know. Just assign me something and I'll let me know what it is. Yeah, yeah that's cool. So it pretty much ended up exactly how we think that the G-Spot is going to be the system to go with by a pretty decent margin. That's as what well. we wanted, though, right? Because if yeah. we if something else came up, we well, we you know we we would have been there. fucked. It's yeah. almost like we made it happen that way. <laughs> happy with that. All yeah. right, so is everyone happy with yeah, where we're right. up to? Yeah, yeah, yep. I, I like it. 
Yeah, and then when we get to the parts where we have to talk about all these other systems, we can go into more detail during the report about things like where we've just said speed is high. We can get actual numbers for it. Yeah. But I think that's yeah. all we wanted to get out of tonight, right? We, yeah. we don't... Yeah. The finalisation bit comes in like five a week to five days before the due date of our speech. And we can really... You know, flesh that Is out. Is it only the three of us left? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I thought everyone else was just listening. Oh, nah. <laughs> I'm happy with that then, and I'm going to bed. Yeah, yeah. that's cool, bro. All right. Night, my dudes. Right, cool beans. I will see you guys next week. Yes. Yeah, see you next week. See ya. Catch you later.